Hello everyone, Michael here, part-time gamer, full-time dad with another too long didn't read World of Warcraft guide. If you like these guides, get subscribed and turn on notifications as to not miss any in the future. With that being said, on with the Marksmanship Hunter. Marksmanship has currently a very high potential damage output. This however can be hindered by both the fact that the class is not very mobile and there's a large RNG element. Side note, this basics guide will assume no legendaries and an artifact weapon up to Concordance 1 and will focus on single target with brief AoE mentions. So first up, as a marksmanship hunter your secondary stat priority should be something like mastery, crit, haste, then versatility. Mastery not only increases the damage on all of your damaging abilities that cost focus, which of course is huge, but also increases your range, which is just fun. Following the above priority for your gems, you're going to go with a 200 Saber's Eye of Agility for your first one, then plus 200 Masterful Argolite gems in your remaining sockets. Your enchants will be the Mark of the Trained Soldier on your neck for the Mastery proc, Binding of Agility on your cloak, and Binding of Mastery on your rings. Your consumables should be the Flask of the Seventh Demon for the Agility, the Potion of Prolonged Power for the Stat Increase, and the Lavish Suramar Feast for the Agility as well. This of course is provided during a situation where you can utilize a feast. If no feast, Nightborn Delicacy Bladder is probably your best bet. For Marksmanship Hunters, a Relic's eye level increase will almost always win out. However, you want to be on the lookout for Unerring Arrows, Marked for Death, and Deadly Aim Traits if eye levels are equal. Now onto the meat of it all, the talents. Level 15 should be Lone Wolf since it's obviously easy to manage and adds the most damage output. Not having a little pet though, eh, kinda sucks. Level 30 should be True Aim for a pure single target fight. If your target's swapping a decent amount, you'll see greater gains out of lock and load most likely. Black Arrow currently can't compete. Level 45 is entirely up to you as it's a mobility row. I personally run post haste for the movement speed increase on disengage. For level 60, your go-to will be Patient Sniper, with Explosive Shot being used if you really need a ton of AoE damage. Sentinel's cooldown is way too long to make it worthwhile. For level 75, again it's up to you as it's crowd control row. Personally though, I run Binding Shot as a standard. Level 90 single target will be Murder of Crows. Volley however should be chosen for even the smallest bit of clumped AoE. Volley is easier to manage than Crows and the DPS loss is so low you could technically pick it for ease of use and just make sure it's always turned on. For level 100, regardless of single target or AoE, I would suggest Trick Shot. Piercing Shot does more AoE damage and is more mobile, but Trick Shot is passive and has a small AoE element to it. So boom, that's the talents. Now you're asking how do I play the Marksmanship Hunter? Well, let me tell you. So. Unfortunately, the Marksmanship Hunter's priority or rotation system is something that has very little room for error. You're only going to perfect it though through practice. So I'll give you a simplified version of what to do. Essentially, outside of proc windows, Arcane Shot will be your focus generator and Aim Shot will be your focus dump. You want to cast Mark Shot when it procs, provided you have 70-ish focus, to create a vulnerable window. During this vulnerable window, you want to get in at least one arcane shot and two aimed shots in that order. When you use your artifact ability windburst, you instead do two arcane shots and two aim shots. Aside from that, just ensure that you're consuming your marked target's buff, which will cause your arcane shot to glow, as soon as possible as this is what opens up the window for marked shot. So that's it broken down very simply. Over time you'll get much more of a feel for it and you'll be able to almost anticipate those windows. So the only real cooldown that Marksmanship Hunters have is Quick Shot. This ability should be used as many times as you can throughout the fight, which only be used if you have high, if not full focus. On top of that, a couple of abilities worth mentioning, this should be on your bar just in case, are Counter Shot being your interrupt, Aspect of the Cheetah and Disengage which are your mobility increasers, Exhilaration which is a self heal, Aspect of the Turtle which is a damage reduction ability, and Feign Death which really just saves you on the repair bill sometimes. As far as pets are concerned, it's pretty irrelevant since Lone Wolf removes your pet entirely. If for whatever reason you aren't running Lone Wolf, check the link in the description for a ton of pet information. So with that we're done. Get subscribed for more videos, hit the like button, it does really help me out, and leave a comment letting me know what you think. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one.